been nine months it could it probably been if not eight and some change since i posted anything on the channel and let me tell you what life has been life but i'll talk about more of that later as i'm going over what i really came to show y'all and that is hold up give me a minute give me a minute hold up I see it that right there. But yeah, man, like I said, life has been life and boy. Trying to make content can be like kind of troublesome when you got so much going on. Like, I'm gonna just be real. I ain't really just had time to like pick up a camera and do anything. A lot of stuff been going on. I, I'm just say that. I'm gonna just say that. I ain't gonna say too much. I really just ain't been free enough to post anything or take the time out to create anything. That's no excuse. I could, I could, I could have done some content. I could have. Not really. Yeah, I could. Yeah, I could. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. But come on, bro. Let me let me show y'all about it. Let me get into the butt. First off, I'm gonna just start off on the outside. Uh, you feel me? We had a lot of leaks, like, around here that I had to seal off around the windows. When I first got the bus and I used to take it out for a spin, like a drive or something, I used to like the doors kicked up while I'm driving. You know what I'm saying? I, I used to love that because, like, the air circulating, it was real hot when we got the bus. But one day, I was on the back road, around right here on one of these country back roads, and boom, a tree went straight through that, so I had to modify a little forward for the thing. So far, it's been great. Made it all winter. We haven't did tires yet. We did one tire in the front, and I'm going to show y'all guys that. Come around here to the back, I got my motorcycle ramp, and all this stuff I did myself. And, and it's sturdy. For a lot of y'all, they be like, woo, 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 woo. Done well, it's sturdy. Done like it's supposed to be. When we got the bus, them lights right there, either they were missing or they were clapped out like rain damage and stuff like that. They were the original ones. I went all the way around the bus and put new ones up and they worked great. So when we got the bus, I guess the bus is out of alignment or whatever. And I don't know if these the original tires that was on the bus could be. This tire right here was balding on the inside. I paid 600 bucks and got this tire. It was bad, bro. I started to do the sanding process and I got a little bit carried away. When you sand something like this you do not have to sand it down like that don't make the mistake that i made i found it out afterwards uh these are leaking where well, they were leaking but i'm gonna take them down we had to put brand new straps on they dry rotted right and snap so i ordered new ones but let me plop this down alternator i've had to change that out i think probably a few weeks after the last video was posted this actually went out i noticed that my gauge when I first bought the bus, I did notice like the lights flickering and stuff like that. I thought maybe because like the dashboard was clapped out or whatever, that wasn't the case. Uh, the lights were flickering because the alternator was bad on it. I did one oil change on it, and that was just for my sake because I don't know what previous owner did with it. It was retired straight from the school, but I don't know the last time that the school put um, any like an oil change on it. I did the oil change myself. A lot of oil on this thing, by the way. And it's expensive. Um, another problem that I had that one day we went to the gas station and we filled it up, like filled the diesel tank and it lost prime. As I'm talking about this stuff, all this stuff is new to me and I'm just now learning. It was a headache trying to figure out what was going on. After researching it all night and stuff like that because it lost prime like maybe five or six minutes up the road from my house it lost the prime right at the pump like getting it towed for that much was gonna be like 1200 bucks down here where i'm at and i was like no way if i could just talk to the store owner get it moved to the side and just work on it up there i would or have somebody come look at it, a diesel mechanic come look at it and tell me what's wrong with it then cool boom shit on. but after doing a lot of research i found out my problem um these have like a manual primer pump after it lose prime you have to prime it pump it so many times and then the gas will come back up to the um come up to the fuel lines with that being said let's go on the inside this door is actually clout oh snap there's a wassy almost got me boy oh there go another one holy shlikes. hold up let me do this off camera and it's, there's no telling how many more is in here bro there go one He's definitely mad. Uh, got his stinger poked out. Come on, bro. He got his stinger out. He's mad. He's heated. The last time y'all saw this bus, 
it was fully stripped. Like everything on the inside was taken out, seats and all that. If y'all didn't see that video, y'all can go back and watch that video because we did make a video on it. But that's basically what we did. We took everything out, pulled the flooring up, pulled the roof down. But let me get into this. What's all that changed in here? Okay, so up here, I haven't cut this piece out yet. I'm um, not really too much worried about it because it's just a piece that you have to cut out and then you can just slam it up there and put insulation behind it and tack it up there. And then I'll be able to install my speakers and stuff like that for the home theater system and all that. Boom, kaboom, shabam. Uh, it was a lot more wires up here, but I didn't need nothing but the wires that goes to these lights. That, so I pulled all those wires out. Weight reduction. I don't know how much of a weight reduction. They were pretty heavy when I pulled them out because it's thousands of wires on school. Yeah, I still have a lot. The ones that I have up here, they go to something. I put in this this is where the radio was i pulled the radio out and i installed the uh, battery reader like they say 11.8 which is probably accurate because i think one of the batteries i shot it'll still fire up it's just reading that right now and then i also went with like cell phone charger plugs they glow up at night which is very useful this is where all the switches was it was like maybe 20 switches right here but i'm finna create some new thing like i did with this one like a wood board or something i'm finna do something fiberglass or something so it can just hold the four switches and then i'm gonna make it an ipad or a holder so like if i'm traveling i can put my ipad on my phone and use that as a gps system another thing i was saying like the wires these are some of the wires you see like there's only two wires going into this thing right here so i have more i just haven't removed these yet some of them I just cut out because I didn't need them no more. And then they go down inside there into the fuse panel, which is on the access doors on the outside. And then turn it around, voila. I know y'all haven't saw this in a while. It's been a minute. See, and I'm gonna start with the front and make my way to the back. Flooring, flooring is complete, done through and through. Flooring under the couch. These are temporary pillows. This is the color that we went with. So we found these pillows to try to match this color. They're actually a little bit too small for the couch. Once we get cushions customized, they will fit better. Right now, no. But we do like them. They're just not comfortable. But it looks good though. And they've been working so far. Now here, this is a diesel heater. Got this off TikTok shop. We haven't bought my hydraulic that'll let this up and down on its own. So when we get those, that'll be much better than me just having to hold it up. I have a little stick in here that I do that with. That's the diesel heater by Vivo. This thing gets hot. It gets pretty hot. Um, it's, actually, it's mounted to the ground so it's good we got the tv mount put in but we took the tv back in because we don't be out here that much so this summer we'll install it back moving on to the kitchen countertop is a little dirty don't mind that you put the garbage can up on there but it has room it goes to the back orange it went well bro i like the orange the color we put the handles on it they look good they make this thing pop out this is our sink don't mind the sink we got water bottles and should have cleaned all this up but hey who cares stove is gonna go down on this end i'm gonna build some type of like access door access curtain to go up under there refrigerator is going in this area right here got like a lot of y'all wondering why tape is up there or why is there a tarp up there or why is there a crack right there or why is there more tape right there when i built this it was trial and error i had many leaks many 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 leaks i worked with it i worked with it i worked with it and i stayed with it until i actually got it waterproof i over tightened the, like maybe four of the screws that's up there and i over tightened them and they cracked the summertime when i first cracked it there one they wasn't too bad and once it got colder they started spreading so that's why it looks like that so once we replace that we'll be good we put um uh what do you call them fluoresce lights i guess recess lights that's what we went with and we went with white lighting in like the living area with this dimmer switch so right now they're like on low and then you can brighten them up don't look too much like I'm doing that thing, but they actually get pretty bright. I had to show you guys at night one night, but yeah. So what you do is you press it on low, and then you turn it to hide up. I think this is one of the best features I came up with for this project was this little step right here. I mean, I tried to make it more like home and put steps in it. I didn't have to, but I did. The back side doesn't have one. And like I said, the flooring is always done through and through. Come down to the bathroom room. Don't mind like the coat hanging up. This is the second emergency exit up here, which is gonna become a skylight eventually. I haven't just did too much to the bathroom. The lights in the bathroom is yellow lights, not white lights, like the living room area. The shower plumbing and stuff is ran 
all that is ran and then it goes up there the shower head gonna go up there and then the knob and stuff is gonna go right there i already got the drainage put in i was gonna start doing the featherweight i gotta do a little bit more rethinking and more replanning on it that is the bathroom light at night this is a bright 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 setup very 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 bright this is where the sink is gonna go like i like mirror and then cabinet and all that and then the toilet is gonna go on this side it's gonna be like going that way so you sit down on it i took one of the regular windows out and i put a um emergency push out window that way it'd be like a vibe when you're howling your business you know what i'm saying on to the back so i did double up this light switch got this light switch off amazon most of everything in here comes off amazon to the bathroom and this one goes to the bedroom which we're about to get into now I did not make the bed up and stuff in here. We tried this bed up because we got up out of the box now, but we're gonna talk about that. Let me make the bed up, then I'm gonna get back with y'all. Okay, give me one minute, give me one minute, give me one minute. Okay, so I'm back and I got the bed and stuff made up. I got everything in here did. So first, I'm gonna start abundance the bed. And, and keep this in mind, everything in here, I built with my own hands, my own time. A lot of hours, a lot of sleepless nights, a lot of three o'clock, four o'clock in the morning till the sun up. So, under the bed that right there is our water tank it's not a big one i think that's like a 45 gallon 40 gallon whatever we might go bigger we might go ahead and do 100 gallon we're not sure yet uh but yeah it's supported right here i think i'm gonna just put a wall up and then have like slide doors right here haven't got done walling down there because that is where the plumbing if you can see the plumbing then you can see it if you can't you can't but yeah uh the wiring and stuff runs all the way around up to here because we have an outlet on this side for the tv and we got some more stuff to do like i gotta put up trimming right there but we have an outlet for cell phone charging anything if you're back here in the bed that's what that's for pretty decent little like walkway king size was gonna back wall wall to wall that's why we went with queen and queen is big enough it's it's pretty good let me show y'all the lights because we got white lights in here oh uh, that's bright bro um, at night, like I said, at night it pops. Let me take you over here to the closet. Still got pieces of trimming to do, like trim that off for the curtain racks and stuff like that. Still got a lot of stuff to do. For the most part, the bus is finished. My boy Matt, he got me through this bill. Put him on and I could build all day. Outlet right there, and then we got a smell good right there. Then we got an outlet up there for the TV. So this is where like the clothes and stuff gonna go. Or you, if you need to make up the bed and stuff like that, this is your turnaround point. TV, we got a full 30 inch TV in here. I gotta get done putting that up. Just like the front, all I have to do is cut that piece and just slap it up there, no biggie. This is actually a nice queen size out of the box mattress we did plenty of research on that made sure we got the right one which one was firm and this one right here is actually it actually does the job it sleeps good check this out right here uh oh the bag's in the remote did so let me turn it on manual yeah light turn blue at first it was red now it's blue there y'all have we got roku smart tv in the bedroom and then i left this area kind of dry of course i will decorate it fix it up get all that done or whatever but i just haven't planned out how i'm gonna do it but it's eventually gonna get done other than that that's it schoolie is schoolie oh yeah i got to i got to make sure y'all know that it run i got to make sure y'all know that so i'm gonna try to crank it if the battery's not dead it's gonna crank but if the batteries are dead it ain't gonna crank so if it don't crank well y'all get it. i'm gonna try to crank it And it's quiet. That's what I like about it. It's quiet. Very, 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 very quiet. Let me see if I can show y'all that motor. Show you that motor. Look at the motor spinning. That's the motor spinning, y'all. And once the air can is built up, you can get off the gas. Stick. You know what I'm Oh, yeah. So let's show y'all that. This is what it looked like from the cockpit. It runs. It's alive. And it's quiet. 